I don't want to be a father of somebody who supports a child into criminal. My sister died. Honey, this was given to me. So I told him, I said, son, I don't want to wear this at your funeral. Can you come? You, you told her to him. It's exact words. Listen, I have a soul in my opinion when I'm not wear. I will wear it to your funeral. Listen, and the last word I said to you, get serious. See your death, you know, brother. See. But in speaking to my son with all this, it's as if nothing not going to his head. He laughs, he likes to laugh. Like even as I made my statement and the, the CVM, sure that my son coldness about him, one took it negatively in what I'm saying, not realizing I'm a very serious person, even with my son. Mm -hmm. When I say he's cold, Ella, I don't have time to laugh with you. This may make people know my son don't have time to laugh with you. He may knock you out, he may knock you down. He may not play, he may not play for play with the night. I'm just, as the person, what they would have said, my son is. The thing is it that I'm tired to talk with you. Walk away. At 30 years, I leave, come, I leave out of Coburn Garden, be here with my mother. I may not go back in the ghetto. I leave trench home from all long. Mm -hmm. I have not gone back there. Why are we so building to this ghetto living that you will be sending all these tricks? And then you're going to call me Judas? Who are the Judas? You all must be the Judas. You understand me? I wasn't sitting at a table with any criminal minded gun banging or, or just, with a call it pimps or pow. I sit at a table with Christians. As I said, I beg my son. I begged him to the best of my ability. Please, Shella. Please. This one I beg you. Just come home. Come out of the yard. This army I beg you. See the room you ever. I'm going to over that room and for so I do everything just to get him in here. I said, bed there here. He said, I'm going to bring him bed. All right? Thank you. Watch me, sir. Let me tell you. This is where the church gives me for you. This is my God and the Evangelism. I did soul saving, sir. Mm -hmm. I am not a life taker. So the message for those who said they want my life, I had no problem dying. I have no problem dying because when I die in Christ, I will live again. But dying out of Christ means you last forever. And this is one of my biggest worries. Is my son saved? What was his last word? And I believe I could tell the last word of my son. Daddy! Because my granddaughter was here that morning when my son died. How old is, how old is your daughter? 13 years of age. Mm -hmm. When she heard her father die and she screamed, and drop on the ground, Ella. I'm watching the baby froze. The first time I'm experiencing this moment of a child lost in their parents and hearing their reaction back to it. Nobody sees this. I experienced it. I saw it. I heard it. It left in my head ringing until today, my brother. I'm talking with you guys here and I'm telling you, my heart is taken out of me. My son took my heart out of me. He took my name and he rubs it into the dirt. You understand me? I always tell me about it. This is my son. And I'm telling you the wrongs of my son. I must paint him white. You you had said that your son is not a saint. He's not a saint, sir. Explain. I'm to not me. afraid to say he's not a saint. When I said he's not a saint, a saint is a person who do good. Who be lives, not take life. A saint is a person who mingled with good people and not bad companies. A saint is a person who lift up God, who not adore the wrongs of the world. You saw the video footage of my son. The attack on your son's life. And my son's life. Oh, oh, oh. What, did, what, were you, what was going through your mind when you saw that? Oh, man. Oh. My only thing I asked, where was he shot? Realizing this and this one. It's a real tough one to look on, but I do understand and I have to look at it. I have to. I looked on the video, I watched the video. I watched how long this car remained in that one secluded spot without any assistance of anybody around that moment. Those men have ample time to do what they are doing that a car could stop. We are a businessman who is a police officer that my son was working for. 
Nobody does nothing to assist him. Ever. And I'm currently looking at and says, you are set up my son. But guess what? They took my message negative and sends me threat messages. Which I'm saying to them, I'm sending back the messages to you people all. And tell you that I will not die. But I guarantee I will live to declare God's word. Some years ago, I remember I went to Coburn God and my son, my son, fling a big stone and let me right in a son. Almost killed me. You know for what? I saw him molesting, taking other people's phones. And I tell him, stop. How we are you? And by me turn my neck back, says a big stone in yourself. I could have killed my son from this. Son. I forgive you. I forgave you. I begged you. When my life went out, you know, and I went from where I'm coming, as my story says, from a life of crime to a life of grace, mm -hmm. I, I looked on it and said, Where is this life of crime? And what were talking? And I looked back at myself on the side and I said, Oh my God. Oh my God. So when I see where my son is heading and where he's going, hey, let me try and grab my son soon. If my son come to me a million times, if he asks me for sweet sugar, man, as long as me have, me have make sure she's coming out, why you go go ask somebody I do not worry? Nothing. You understand me, sir? I don't want you to do anything wrong. So if you call me a million times, ah, if I whoop, me do if I whoop it. At times, me look to me, weep for see my son. You understand me? He and I spend quality time talking on the phone and we rock. There is no question when I'm afraid to ask my son. When I travel with people, come preacher, I see your son pass certain action, certain thing. Ella, listen up, I call you. My ears are What is happening?